Napoleon said an army marches on its stomach, and while I have no reason to doubt him, I have a feeling an automobile factory operates much the same way. The Studebaker administration building opened in 1909 and was fully equipped to meet the needs of the modern automobile executive. In addition to the standard offices and desks and file cabinets and vaults, it was most importantly a fully equipped dining facility. The administration building's kitchens were equally at home catering high-level power lunches amongst automobile executives to putting out luncheons for hundreds, often hosted in the administration building's dining rooms found on the west side of the building's fourth floor. Let's take a moment to examine the administration building dining room's board of fare. This May 1st, 1920 menu shows many tasty treats including country sausage, cold boiled ham, and wait for it, beef patties. You can wash it down with coffee, tea, or bottled milk, each available for a nickel. But for my money, it's hard to turn down the made-to-order hot milk toast, finished off with a special pineapple salad. Most importantly, cigars may be purchased from the cashier, although a price is not given. To look at this 1937 Studebaker administration building menu, it's clear the executive chef has upped his game. Why, you could get a cup or a bowl of Coney Island clam chowder all washed down with a two-tone cocktail. The special that day included fresh Gulf shrimps, Spanish style, mind you, although one has to ask themselves, how fresh are these Gulf shrimps in the middle of Indiana in the fall of 1937? Other choices include a roast prime rib of beef or Gebhardt's chili con carne and hot tamales with spaghetti. Beverage options included coffee, tea, or milk, and you could finish off your meal with apple or bread pudding, half a grapefruit, butterscotch or apple pie, or peach crunch ice cream, my personal choice, all available for one thin dime. Thank you so much for joining us with some selections from Studebaker History. Tune in again next time for some other tasty treats.